Manjaro or Tezapatide, and Wegovian Ozempic, brand name Semaglutide, have been making headlines since they came to the market. Everybody wants to know, how do I get Manjaro? Hey Manjaro fam, wanted to give you guys a quick update. Completely changed my life. In fact, your city may still have a shortage. The fact that people tend to lose a significant amount of weight while taking these injectables is one of the many notable qualities it has. And it's the reason why it's talked about at your work, your group of friends, and all over social media. No one cares this much about a Carbos or Jardians. And last fall, the FDA granted the Eli Lilly's Monjaro a fast track designation for review to treat obesity. In this video, I wanted to talk about how it compares with Ozempic and Wegovi for managing weight, how it's different than the other players on the market, how hard will it be to get, and finish it off with the side effects and how to mitigate them. So without further ado, let's get started. Also real quick before we get started, it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and turn the bell on to stay up to date with new weekly videos. Now. Manjaro is a weekly injection which works by controlling blood sugar and it was approved for use in type 2 diabetes by the FDA in May of 2022. It's similar to Ozempic and Wegovi in the fact that it's a glucagon-like peptide 1 or GLP-1 receptor agonist, but it's not just that. It's also a glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide or GIP for short, which is a hormone that helps with the release of insulin after food consumption. The last part is why it's more sought after. I've actually made a video about Ozempic here that has well over 800,000 views and a video on Saxenda that you can watch after this one. And Monjaro has not been approved for the FDA for weight loss just yet. Some doctors prescribe it for off-label use for weight loss in patients who don't have type 2 diabetes. Now, this may be the reason why you're experiencing a shortage, and the manufacturer already had a feeling this would happen, which is why in 2020, the company announced plans to open a $470 million pharmaceutical manufacturing facility in their state, and on January 24th, it committed an additional $450 million to the site. This is how optimistic they are about its weight loss approval. Now let's talk about how it compares with the other players. Manjaro has shown more promising results with the clinical trial which found participants lost up to 22.5% of their body fat. Wegovy and Saxenda's effectiveness was lower, with participants experiencing an average of 15% and a 5% reduction in body fat respectively. So you can lose more weight with this one. Because even when you look at it side by side, Terzapatide at a dose of 10 to 15 milligrams per week achieved over 20% body weight reduction, while semaglutide at a dose of 2.4 milligrams achieved roughly 17% reduction. While you see the placebo hanging up uh, here at 2 to 3 percent. So the evidence is pretty solid. Now let's talk about how hard will it be to get. The coverage of Monjaro may vary depending on your insurance plan. For instance, your plan might not include coverage for weight management med medicines like Wegovy, but it might cover Monjaro for treating type 2 diabetes. So it's a good idea to check with your plan to see what's covered. It's challenging and I get it because Insurance companies change what they cover without telling providers or patients when or why or even how. And another issue is if a patient does get Wegovy covered instead, they must lose 5% of their body weight after 5 to 6 months of taking it or else the insurance will stop paying for it, which I thought was interesting. So the medicine better work or else you're going to have to pay out of pocket. Also, Medicare does not cover weight loss medicines, though it covers counseling and weight loss surgery for those of a certain BMI. So if you're going in without insurance, let's say because you're on it as an off-label, it should cost an average of $1,172 a month, which let me know in the comments if that's a fair price. Let's talk about some of the side effects and some possible foods you need to be avoiding. Possible side effects while taking Manjaro include nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, constipation, stomach pain, and indigestion. Really all the same ones you might have experienced already if you've tried Ozempic. Although most nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting typically happens when your dosage is increased. It usually settles over time as your body adjusts to it though. 
And Manjaro comes as a pack of four single-use pens, a 28-day supply since you'll be using it once a week, starting with 2.5 milligrams, which can be increased to 5 milligrams after, and can be increased by 2.5 milligrams by your doctor's approval every four weeks, depending on your sugar control, but not to exceed 15 milligrams. This regimen may be different for you depending on your circumstances, though. People with prior kidney issues may experience dehydration with all the side effects, which actually worsens kidney problems. So to work around this, you need to first let your doctor know of all the side effects that you experience and just make sure you're hydrated with enough fluids during this whole process. And if a patient experiences a lump or swelling in the neck, trouble swallowing, hoarseness or shortness of breath, they should consult their doctor as well. And speaking of the foods that you want to avoid, Try avoiding fried or spicy foods to limit the nausea and avoid processed foods as they are empty of nutrition and can produce inflammation and hinder your results. And I understand the frustration. If patients with actual type 2 diabetes were to stop taking their GLP-1 agonists, their blood sugar would uptick leading to a complication. The manufacturer knows this and with the help of the establishment of new facilities, Eli Lilly plans to double their increase in capacity by the end of 2023 to help combat the supply shortage, which is just around the corner. So I'm hoping this will help a lot of you guys. I'm more curious to actually hear from you guys though. In the meantime, click the video I made here on Ozempic and this one here on Saxenda. Comment down below what your thoughts are about this and subscribe if you found this useful. And until then guys, I'll see you on the next one.